Last week, you may remember, I attempted to study the work of concept artist Shin Jong-hun by creating my own work, but I didn't feel fully satisfied, so this week, I decided to properly sit and break down his work to understand what makes it so powerful. Going through his art station, I realized there are two types of work he does. Larger horizontal backgrounds, probably for animations, and then what I like to call more personal work, which generally has a character or two inside the uh, composition. So this second type of artwork is mainly the artwork that I'm going to be focusing on. There were several points I picked up on when I was studying his work, but I've narrowed it down to just two themes which I think his work kind of encompasses. The first overarching theme is to be lazy, aka work smart. You do not have to render everything. Implied details are your best friend. One way of doing this is with lazy brush strokes, especially when it comes to the background. Implied detail is basically creating the feeling that there is more detail than there actually is. And judging by his strokes, he generally only uses one brush, but he creates variety by using about four or five different shades or values of a color to achieve the look that he wants. In fact, there's this tree tutorial that he posted on his Instagram the other day, which really nicely shows how he achieves his implied details. When he's painting in characters, he's actually even more minimal by using only two or three colors to highlight where the shadows and light fall on the character. Another way you can quote unquote be lazy is to reuse details of your work. Now, I don't know why, but this is so groundbreaking for me, probably because I don't do this tip. So if you just go back to this tree tutorial, you can see how he highlights how he can make this one tree branch and then duplicate it and distort it to make one full tree, which you can see he's done in his tutorial. On top of that, he also reuses this tablet in a lot of his work, or at least the screen of the tablet, or the style of the tablet, I don't know, like it just appears a lot in his work. This piece is basically just four different scenes, but he just changed the background sky and the lighting in the scenes give it a different vibe. And that's really cool because he didn't have to rethink the composition or anything. He just changes the color and he's got four different images. Sometimes I think he even reuses the same sky or at least the same colors. And this is great because that means he can get consistency with his work. The final sub tip I have within this theme is to use big shapes because I've noticed that he doesn't get all nitty gritty with his paintbrush. So it's good to have a brush with pressure so you can adjust the size by just pushing down harder on your pen. And simple big shapes really do work. You don't have to get uh, super complicated or fancy with the shapes. And this kind of also goes back to using one brush. Sometimes I feel like I need to use different brushes to achieve different looks when actually that kind of ruins the consistency of a piece. Um, and you can try and achieve the same effect with one brush. The second theme I found in his work was contrast. Jong Un's great at putting out tutorials of his work, and you can see that when he's finished drawing the composition, he adds value to the piece to establish the foreground, the midground, and the background. And then the colors then follow the values that are already set up in the beginning. He also adds contrast through soft versus hard edges. When there's a character in the piece, you know that's going to be the focal point, so he always draws this with a hard outline. And then the background becomes secondary through its softer and hazier brush quality, and it kind of goes back to what I was saying before about the implied details. So to briefly summarize, one, save time when you can by being lazy. Don't overdo details when you do not need to. And two, bump up that contrast through color and line quality. I hope this video helped you because it certainly helped me to understand more about one of my favorite artists and I'll see you next week with an interesting video on trying a different drawing technique. See you then.